I'm Anil Kumar and here is an excellent video where we are going to find derivative at an arbitrary point. The question here is determine the derivative for f of x equals to x cube at x equals to minus 1, 0 and minus 1. So whenever you need to find derivative at more than one point it is better to find it at a general point. So we'll just find the derivative at x equals to a, right? and then substitute these different values of a and find specific derivative at each and every point. So that is the strategy. So going with the definition of derivative which is f dash x equals to limit h approaches 0 of f of a plus h, right? So any general point h, a minus f of a over a. So that is how we are going to do. So in this case the function is cubic function, so we'll replace uh, this value a plus h for x, so we get a, I mean, a plus h whole cube minus a cube over h, right? So we could write this as limit h approaches 0, a plus h whole cube is a cube plus 3a square h plus 3a h square plus h cube, right? minus a q over h. So we can simplify by cancelling out a cube and a q. So we get all the terms where h is common. Do you see that? So we get 3a square h plus 3a h square plus h q divided by h. We can factor out a h. So we get limit h approaches 0. If you factor out h, you get 3a square plus 3a h plus h square divided by h. So once you do that, you can cancel out h. And then let's continue on the right side. So we get f dash x equals to limit h approaches 0. 3a square plus 3a h plus h square, right? So that is what you get. Now you substitute h equals to 0, then you get 3a square. So f dash x is 3a square at any point x equals to a, right? So we could actually say f dash a I should have written as equals to 3a square. So this is what we have got now. So let us now find different values. So if x is equals to minus 1, what is the value? So now we can substitute minus 1 here. So we get f dash of minus 1 is equals to minus 1 here will give you 3, minus 1 square, that is 3. So at x equals to 0, what do we get? We get f dash at 0, which is 3 times 0 square, and that is 0. Similarly, we can find at x equals to 1, so let's write x equals to 1, it will be f dash 1, which is 3 times 1 square, which is again 3, right? So that is how you can find derivatives at multiple points by finding it at an arbitrary point. So that is how it is. As an added exercise, what you could do is you can sketch the function and its derivative on the same graph, right? So let this be an exercise for you. Here is a simple solution to uh, what I've just said. That is a function is cubic function, so we could kind of sketch it like this, right? So that is a cubic function, and you sketch the graph, which is 3a square, correct? You know the values of derivatives, so, so now we'll sketch f dash x. You can select some more points, for example, f dash of minus 2 and plus 2. And then when you sketch, what you'll find here it is 0, and at plus and minus 1, it is 3, so it's kind of higher. So it could be kind of, it's like a parabola, right? So it's, it's a parabola like this. Whose equation is 3x squared in general, right? So 3x squared. So what you notice is that whenever you find derivative, the power decreases by 1. So for cubic equation, derivative will be a quadratic equation, correct? And that exponent 3, you see it here, power is 1 less. So that may give you an idea of general formula for any polynomial equation. I hope that helps. 
Thank you and all the best.